energy was created along with dark matter at the moment of the Big Bang. It has always existed in the universe, but gravitational forces of dark matter kept it in check, slowing down the expansion of space during the first nine billion years of time. This changed five billion years ago when the universe grew big enough so that dark matter was dispersed throughout the universe and dark energy wasn't so affected by dark matter's pull. As a result, the universe began to expand at an accelerated rate. Dark energy is a constant term. Uh, that was probably very insignificant when the universe was hot and dense in the beginning. And so it doesn't really matter whether dark energy is there or not. It is there, but it's, it just plays no role at all. And then as the universe gets cooler and, and less dense and bigger, so gravity becomes less important, and then dark energy takes over. It's a property of space that we don't yet fully understand. As the universe expanded, astronomers realized dark energy won its struggle with dark matter and started the acceleration five billion years ago. So there came a time about five billion years ago when the dark energy started dominating over the attractive matter in the universe. So in a sense, if you plot the force versus time, the gravitational attraction is declining with time, the repulsion is increasing with time, and about five billion years ago, the two curves crossed, and that's when the universe started accelerating in its expansion. Dark energy is fundamental to understand because it tells us where the universe is going. What's the fate of the universe? Is it going to expand forever and get cold and dark, or is the you know, some end in sight. Dark energy now drives the expansion of the universe, and it doesn't seem to be stopping. The repulsive effect of the dark energy increased because the more space there is between galaxies, the greater is the cumulative effect of the dark energy, the repulsive effect. And individual galaxies seem destined to a lonely existence. So it looks as if this is the end of everything. Surprisingly, the theory of dark energy was proposed and discarded long ago from one of physics' greatest minds. He called it his biggest blunder. His name was Einstein, and he might have been on to the greatest discovery of the 21st century 80 years before anyone had a clue. Science now understands that dark energy is creating and expanding space. But in the early 20th century, astronomers believed the universe was only as big as the Milky Way and would never grow in size. But Einstein had just formed his theory of relativity and decided to test it on the static universe. But as hard as Einstein tried, he could not balance his equation to equal a static universe. His calculations showed a universe that must either expand or contract. He realized that if you had a universe that was smooth, that was uniformly distributed with stuff, his theory unambiguously predicted that it should either be expanding or contracting. So Einstein proposed a repulsive vacuum energy that would hold the universe in balance with attractive gravity. He called it his cosmological constant, a constant energy that would hold the universe in balance. He introduced the cosmological constant, or dark energy, to hold the universe static. When Hubble announced space was expanding, suddenly Einstein's cosmological constant seemed irrelevant, and he labeled it his biggest blunder. Now it turns out that dark energy, the concept that he threw away back in the 1920s, is in fact the dominant force blowing the universe apart. Einstein's so-called blunder will eventually determine whether or not the universe dies in fire or ice. And the betting is the universe will die in ice. In trying to survey how the universe behaves, Einstein had erroneously predicted dark energy and what is the total makeup of the universe. The total amount of stuff in ordinary matter and dark matter is not enough 
to account for the curvature of space that we observe. Like looking across a horizon on Earth, the size of the universe is so great, the curvature of space appears flat. To add ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy together, that makes a prediction for the curvature of space. And that prediction comes spot on. You get the answer. Our satellite data now has revealed the fact that 73% of the matter energy content of the universe is dark energy. Dark energy, which was once Einstein's blunder, is now known to be the dominant force in the universe. His blunders are our great discovery. Scientists are at the very beginning of understanding what effect dark energy will have on the fate of the universe. Ideally, uh, we'd like to measure how dark energy is behaving as the universe ages. Eventually, when the dark energy completely dominates over dark matter, the universe will enter a stage known as exponential expansion. For every given unit of time, it'll double in size. And unless the dark energy changes sign someday and becomes gravitationally attractive, the fate of the universe is to expand forever, more and more quickly with time. We don't understand, if the vacuum energy is driving the acceleration of the universe, why it has the amount it does. That is one of the deepest puzzles remaining in theoretical physics today. Trillions of years from now, it's going to be a very lonely place. We'll look up in the sky, and the skies will be practically dark. The oceans will freeze over, and it looks as if this is the death of all intelligent life. It looks as if dark energy and the laws of physics are a death warrant to all intelligent life in the universe. In discovering dark matter and dark energy, science is one step closer to defining the theory of everything. One equation that will define the entire workings of the universe. Once we have the theory of everything, we'll be able to answer some of the deepest questions ever since man and women first looked at the heavens. This could be the crowning achievement of 2,000 years of investigation into the laws of nature ever since the Greeks asked the question, what are things made of? For now, dark matter and dark energy continue to be the greatest cosmological questions of the 21st century. It's certainly frustrating, yes. I mean, it's uh, humbling, too, to, to know that, you know, all we know about physics is restricted to normal matter, and yet there's all this other dark matter and dark energy that we really understand very little about. It's the beginning of a new era and the mysteries of the dark side of the universe. It's the Wild West as far as uh, particle astrophysics, which is what we call this field. It's a property of space that we don't yet fully understand. <laughs>